Hello, I'm MapleBob23 from the MapleBob23 channel and today has come. It is the day I am going to unpack my Marvel Super Heroes Secret Wars Battle World box set. That's quite a long title. And anyways, um, when I was a kid I used to collect comic books and in 1983 I turned 18 and had to get a job and I got less and less comic books. About a year after I stopped reading comic books, uh, Secret Wars 1 came out, and I didn't even know about it until Secret Wars 2 was going on, and I bought a few comic books while I was in the Army at the time, but um, I don't know. When I saw this, it was just exciting to me because I can go back and capture some of my childhood. I was just thinking I should have never given up comics. Kids, forget college. If you love something like comics when you're a kid, find a way to be involved in that industry. Uh, don't listen to your parents. Don't listen to the authorities because they don't know anything. And you'll be much, much happier if you live your life for you. Okay, so let's go. I've already cut the tape. And let's see what we've got in here. Okay, I'm working with a very rigged system, so I will pull this back a little bit. So I can stay in the shot a little bit. Okay, piece of cardboard. Okay, let's see. Oh, this looks like the poster. Oh, there's Spider Man. There's the Hulk. If um, I just was not doing this um, unboxing video, I would keep this thing in this plastic <laughs> and the plastic would catch dust because um, that's how I do things sometimes. It's like I don't want it ever to get used or old. But let's look at this poster. It's a nice cloth poster. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Pan up. Well, I can't pan, so I'll move it up. There's Captain America's shield, Captain America, the Hulk, Iron Man, Nightcrawler, the Thing, um, who's that guy? Oh, there's a couple of people in here. Uh, I don't know those characters, you know? I read a lot of comics back in those days, but I didn't know everybody. Oh, there's the She-Hulk. She was relatively new back when I was reading. I remember buying the first copy of that and while I was not too thrilled with the origin story I really loved the the story from what I can remember um, I think the She-Hulk was a lawyer in her other life and her dad was a sheriff and there's this evil woman whispering in her dad's ear because her dad was a widower I think I don't remember the whole story but I probably only was able to follow that for about 10 issues so that was probably near the end of my ability to buy comics. Okay, so let's see here we have what we have here is this foam and I think in order to get it out I'll have to take the box. You can see there Secret Wars. So That's pretty much it. It's unboxed. And so put this cardboard back here. I think because this box has artwork on the outside of it, I'll try to hide it someplace and keep the box intact should I ever wish to sell this set at some point in the future. Really, there's just artwork on this side, just a label that was peeled on, nothing else. It's just a gray box. So, let's see. Okay, take off. Boom. Phone one and phone two. This 
are really heavy. It's a lot of books. Here we go. Oh, look at it. There we go. The Marvel Superheroes Secret Wars Battle World box set. Okay, on this side we have um, Mr. Fantastic, Captain America. I'm looking in the camera. That's how I'm able to see things. Uh, there's the Hulk. And, oh, it looks like Storm in her Mohawk period. I remember when she had beautiful white hair and then she went crazy or something and became a punk rocker. Um, well, there it looks like a planet being torn apart. And let's see here. We have Galactus, Dr. Octopus, Dr. Doom. So these are the bad guys. Oh, I get it. These are the heroes. These are the bad guys. And then on this side, we have the thing. We have Thor. Uh, Iron Man is at the top. Uh, the Human Torch, Johnny Storm. Colossus. Uh, Hawkeye. Uh, the She-Hulk. Uh, Magneto. Yeah, I think around this time Magneto was becoming a good guy. Uh, really, I didn't follow the X-Men much afterwards. And I don't know if he went back to being a bad guy. I was there when he was being tried at The Hague. So, let's see. I think this one's to open this way. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, I think that's either Adam Warlock or the Magus. I guess it's could be the Magus because he looks kind of like Adam Warlock, only evil. And here we go. Oh yeah, can you see that? There you go. And uh, here is uh, Galactus. Those are the books. So it's very exciting. It's like, I think I read someplace that the whole point of Secret Wars was Marvel had done some sort of deal for toys. And so Secret Wars was there to promote the toys. Now, I've never been a big fan of toys. I've got a couple of collector's action figures. No superhero ones, I don't think. But they just, you know, if you're not going to play with them, what good's a toy? Whereas you can read a book. I love reading. Okay. So here we go. Uh, to Battle World and Back. This might be a documentary feature. There you see Spider-Man in the uh, black uniform. I remember I was reading Spider-Man a little after I got out. The Army, if I remember correctly, and you know, memory is like a face on the water, as Stephen King says. Um, so, yeah, I think it doesn't say a whole lot. I probably will have to open it up in order to do that. And since this is an unpacking, let's just find my knife, my unpacking knife. It's also good for cutting steak. So yeah, okay, Spider-Man has two young people who look terrified of fighting. And let's see what this is. Oh, it's a, it's a comic book, it's not a documentary book, so this must have been part of, uh, oh, you can't see it, I'm sorry. So yeah, so here you go. And this must be some of the tie-ins, I'm not sure. On the outside of the box, it uh, lists several volumes of different things. But, oh uh, my goodness, there's an X-Men, there's probably the Fantastic Four, since that's the thing. I can't wait to read some of these. They're um, 3,500 pages for me to read. Comic books I am probably mostly haven't read. Uh, it includes Secret Wars 2, and as I said, I did know some of that. So the nice thing is, you know... As I showed you, the Galactus makes up the spine. So what is this? This is Secret Wars. I bet this is the first Secret Wars. Um, here we go. You know, the thing about this is there's not going to be a second time I can do this. <sighs> Unless I order another one, and I'm not going to do that. So yeah, this is the poster that I showed you before. And yeah, this looks like it's... Um, Secret Wars, 
Secret Wars, Secret Wars. So yeah, I'm getting a bit of glare. Let's uh, do something about the light. See, does that help? That helps some. Hopefully it stays bright enough for people to see. So yeah, it's just Secret Wars, the, uh, the beginning of the saga. And I wonder if I'm supposed to read them in order. I don't know. Uh, let's see, what is this one? Oh, The Thing. I remember really liking The Thing when I was in school. I think, um, you know, I don't have my books anymore. Um, they all got sold, so that's good. I didn't sell them, my mom did, and she deserved it. She uh, paid for them, so. So when I moved out and the books were taking up space, she did uh, get a little bit of her investment back. I don't know how much she made off of them. It was too painful to ask, but hopefully it was something. So there we go, the cover of the thing. I've been reading comic books lately, omnibuses and stuff, and I really am happy that Marvel a lot of times has... Um, the covers separating the the chapters of the story. I love the cover artwork. Okay, so here we go. Secret Wars two. Now everything I read online says this is bad, but I don't care. I a lot of times people say something is bad, and I enjoy it anyways. A few times people say something is good, and I absolutely hate it. Uh, District nine comes to mind. I I did not like District nine. It just was kind of too gross out for me. Not a big fan of the gross out comedy, but I could see it did have its virtues, but it just wasn't for me. Okay, so this is volume one of Secret Wars 2, and uh, uh, through the next year I will find out what happens in this, because I'm a slow leisurely reader. So yeah, there's that. Look at that eye artwork. Okay, and I'm just going to breeze through the rest of these because I am getting close to the 15 minutes. <sighs> and I don't want to go too long. I don't want to bore people. So this one here is uh, Volume 2 of Secret Wars 2. Uh, you know, I, I don't like, when I see a movie and stuff, I don't like know a lot about it going in, and I prefer it that way. And it's the same thing with Secret Wars. I missed most of it when it came out. I. I know about the Beyonder, and I know uh, some of the things of it, but it's been like, what, 30 years? So I uh, anything I did read, like I did read a few books during the Secret Wars 2 time period. I remember reading Spider-Man. I remember, I think the Beyonder or some other character took on the form of David Letterman, who I had watched for years at that point, but I think he, uh, he was just becoming a cultural icon. I guess that would have been... 86 or 87. I uh, I don't remember and I'm not even sure how long he was on the air. He started in a uh, daytime show which you know being a, a kid I was home on summer break when his first talk show uh, happened and it was a very funny daytime show. The format changed a lot when he went to late night but I, I enjoyed David Letterman back in those days. Now I don't really like those kinds of shows so much. So what is this one? Volume 3 of Secret Wars 2. Ooh, there's a... That's the Beyonder. Uh, I like his 1980s hairstyle. Okay. So here we go. I always thought the Beyonder had a nice, nice smile. So here he is, all kind of silvery. So, let's see, this is Volume 4. And... go through it. This is my first unpacking video. I like uh, Cracked, uh, their little skits, and in one of them um, there was, uh, the topic was things the YouTube doesn't need more of, which one of them was unpacking videos, and I'm like, oh, I didn't even know that was a thing, and then when I ordered this, I go, oh, I could do an unpacking video. So here we go, Secret Wars Volume 4. Uh, here's a random page sample. It's going to be a lot to read. Isn't it fun to have your reading list planned for the next year? I think it's fun. Oh, but what if I hate it? I'm not going to hate it. I'm going to love it. And even if something strikes me, I mean, you know, 
sometimes there's a stupid story or a pothole. People, people put too much into it. This is the aftermath of Secret Wars. So there you have Thor. Thor was one of my favorite characters. I came in to his run when he was doing um, the Wagner Ring Cycle. And I've always wanted to um, to get that one ag again because I came in like right near the end of it. And, and I'm a big fan of opera. Uh, I, I like um, I like Wagner. I really like Verdi. Verdi is my favorite uh, opera composer. But I'm just an amateur. I just uh, listen to what I like. I couldn't tell you anything technical about the music. Uh, so this is the secret. Secret Wars, I think I've heard about this Nick Fury Secret Wars, which I have no idea what that's about at all. You have the nice, you know, inside black, um, it just says Secret War, and Secret War 1, S.H.I.E.L.D., so I like S.H.I.E.L.D., I remember reading some, like, I think the 60s run was over way by the time, but I was able to get my hands on some old comics, and I think I did get to read some of the S.H.I.E.L.D. and it was like, oh, the 60s were this wonderful time. It's like, I listen to these podcasts now and they talk about, oh, the 90s are the best time for comics. I think, I wish I would have been old enough to appreciate comic books when Stan Lee and Jack Kirby were creating all this stuff. I, and then there were like other things. I think there were more horror comics back in those days. That was another one. I mostly read DC for their horror comics. I mean, if you count like Ghost Rider and stuff as a horror comic, it was okay. I, I enjoyed Ghost Rider, but uh, this is Secret Wars. Oh, Beyond the Secret Wars. So I have no idea what this book is about. <sighs> it looks like a more modern artwork. So I'm not sure. Well, I'm not really looking that closely. So you know, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. So yeah, I have no idea about this book at all. This is like way off my radar. And one more book. Ah, oh, this looks like it might be, be, this is the behind the scenes. So you can tell because they didn't bother to color anything in. They let you see the original sketchings, which is always, it, it's, it's fun to do. I'm teaching myself to draw. And, um, and so, yeah, it's, uh, so here we go. There's the back. Let's see what's in it. Uh, this is the one with a lot of words, see? So, yeah, there's like the big collar from the 80s. If you want to see a really good um, 1980s movie that really captures the zeitgeist of some of the fun parts of the 80s, I would suggest um, uh, Manhunter, which was uh, based on the first Hannibal Lecter novel, Red Dragon, which um, I don't remember who starred in it, but I think Michael Mann was the director. So, yeah, this just has like... A whole bunch of stuff that um, people who like behind the scenes. I'm not that much of a behind the scenes guy. I like Bratwurst, but I don't want to see how it's made. So, well, that's all the books in here. Let's see if there's any hidden surprises. Oh, it's a heavy box. Just the box itself, but it looks like nothing else comes out. So, that's what it looks like without any books in it. It's relatively heavy. You could probably mount it in a wall and use it as a wall safe. So, well, this has been Maple Bob 23 for doing his first unpacking video for Marvel Secret Wars, Marvel Superheroes, Secret Wars Battle World box set. Enjoy!